Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I am Simone the Moon Goddess. This is your reading for the 21st to the 27th. So we got a new moon on the 21st. We have the 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 um, solstice. Um, we have eclipse. We have an eclipse on the new moon. We're in the midst of retrograde season. Oh yeah, there's a lot, but we got this right. So this will be for Pisces sun signs, moon, rising signs, Venus signs, Jupiter signs. Um, Pisces, thank you so much. Your last video was one of my most viewed for that set of videos. Thank you so much for the comments and the, the likes and all that. If you are new to my channel, a new subscriber, welcome. All right. So to all my day ones, y'all know, always love to y'all. Okay, so let's start with some sun cards and get some themes going on for the next couple of days and then move into tarot and then wrap it up with some oracles, all right? So what's the themes for Pisces, Spirit Guides? May all messages be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. What are the themes for Pisces? Thank you. All right, let's go. So you got flirtation happening here at the bottom of the deck. You have Mercury in Sagittarius. All right, so there might be some flirtatious energy over the next couple of days. You have impulsiveness. So there's, uh, this is Mars in Aries. So some impulsive energies. You have romance, Mercury in Taurus. You have, let's see, decision, um, Mars in Gemini. So let's see what else comes up for you. You have resourcefulness got sun and cancer and we are by uh, there'll be um it'll be cancer season um by the time you watch this it will be cancer season well some of you um you have generosity so there's a leo energy there's saturn in leo here you have patience jupiter in virgo and you have companionship, moon in Libra. So that's some strong energies coming through because you got flirtation at the bottom. These cards are so slippery. You got convention here, which is Capricorn energy, Mercury in Capricorn. And you have versatility, sun in Gemini. So I don't know if any of those themes jump, jump out at you. It either resonates or it doesn't, okay? So you have flirtation, companionship, patience, generosity, resourcefulness, decision, romance, and impulsiveness. So interesting energies surrounding you over the next couple of days, Pisces. Interesting themes. All right, let's jump into the tarot and see what comes up. A lot of love here romance flirtation companionship a lot of romance romantic energies maybe some of y'all jumping into a new relationship some of you are feeling as if your relationships are giving you the generosity that you des you desire some of you are making a decision about a romance some of you need to be patient with with a partner or with yourselves Maybe some of you are trying to figure out how to come together with another person and it's going to take some resourcefulness. Maybe how to cross paths with the person, visit them. Maybe it's about money and you're all trying to figure out how to make it come together. There's generosity here as well. What's the things to Pisces, Spirit Guides? From the 21st to the 27th of June, 2020. Wow. So we're talking about generosity. We're talking about resourcefulness. You have eight of pentacles as your first card. So this could be y'all working towards something. You're working towards something. Maybe working towards how to get to this person. As in how to, cro how to come together. Maybe y'all live in separate places. And you're trying to figure out how to, how to make enough money. How to attract enough, enough money. Not make. How to attract enough money to get to your person. Maybe y'all are building towards living together or or um making something official oh my gosh hang on sorry my timer just disappeared 
Yeah. Um, there's something you're working towards here. You're being asked to be diligent. You're being asked to be resourceful. You're being asked to hone your skills and also to not give up because the, you start with an ace and you work towards a 10 and you're at eight pentacles. So it's like keep putting energy towards it. You're so close. You're so close, Pisces. Let's see what's influencing that, my word, the star. I love it. Your alignment. So it's not only about working, it's about aligning, right? It's not about putting in so much work, it's hustling or grinding or all that. It's none of that. It's about aligning what you want and then taking action towards it. Aligning the energies of what you desire and then taking action towards it, okay? You might have to think outside the box. This is a card associated with Aquarius and they're, they're the sign of innovation. All right. Also, Saturn is now in Aquarius. And when I see the Eight of Pentacles, I think Saturn being um, disciplined and, and working towards something, you know, limitations, blockages, not blockages. That's not what I meant to say. Saturn is a sign of limitations, but in order to get you to be disciplined, in order to get you to have a solid foundation, but you might have to do so in an innovative way. Some of you might be connected to an Aquarius and also it's about you trusting your alignment, right? The um, Nine of Swords is the card at your foundation, your root. Y'all feel stressed. There's anxiety here trying to figure out how to make things come together again it's about alignment it's about you being inspired to do something you take action and you align you look at the signs the synchronicities right and as well as incorporating your um, resourcefulness and incorporating your discipline stop stressing because stressing is just bringing more energy for you to stress about so let that go okay you're subconscious mind is the four of cups so i feel as if you're being presented with something that you truly actually want here as well as what's appearing in your life is with purpose and the four of cups is a sense of you not being able to accept what the universe is presenting to you because you feel as if you should be somewhere else you know you're doubting your alignment you're doubting the gifts and that's coming because you're not healed in some way about something else However, this resonates. So if it's love showing itself to you, but you feel as if it's not what you want, you feel it, you feel connected to it. There's a decision here to be made. But you don't know if either you don't feel as if you're worthy of it or you're doubting it because until you make space for the new energy that you're actually calling in, rather than stressing, and having anxiety, you're repelling what you truly desire, right? Make space so that you can receive the goodness being offered to you. These opportunities don't come along often. And when they do, they're not going to stick around forever, right? Impulsiveness is here as well. Let's see the recent energies. Your recent energies is a chariot. So I don't know if some of you just moved. Some of you, I said impulsiveness. And when I see this car, that's what I think. Full steam ahead. You know, no time to think. Just move with it. The chariot is movement. It could be some of y'all moved. It could be just swift changes. Maybe that's why y'all feel a little bit like all over the place. Because this energy came in so quickly. And it was like a whirlwind. Right? Impulsiveness. It's like whirlwind energies, a, whirl, a whirlwind romance, maybe. Wow. Because I'm seeing impulsiveness and romance is right next to it. The way how I laid them out. Um, and it's crazy because I just did Cancer's reading and the, the Wheel of Fortune was at the bottom of the deck just as it is here for you pathways opening up so what i'm feeling is what i'm feeling is that many of us have been calling in certain energies and know that the universe is showing you exactly what you've been calling in you're getting nervous because all of a sudden it's real and when when shit gets real that's when we're like oh yeah 
okay, so y'all were listening. Okay, thank you, but I'm scared. You know, it's that type of vibe. Let's see what's the energy is coming in. My word, the Ace of Cups. Pisces, there's no hiding. This is new love. This is new love. Could be healing. This is the healing that we really do want to have anyways. So that you can receive. So that you can step out of your own way and receive the goodness that you've been calling in. So this could be new love, healing. Some of you might be detoxing. Some of you are pouring energy into yourself. Connecting to water energies. Feeding your own waters. Feeding, feeding your, giving yourself the energy you need to thrive. It's crazy that you have impulsiveness and patience. Two very opposite ends of the spectrum. Hmm. Okay, so your word of advice, my loves. My goodness. Pisces, you have the Ace of Cups as the energy coming in. Your word of advice is the Queen of Cups. It's time to trust your intuition, my loves. It's time to receive as well. It's interesting that I've been talking all this time about being receptive. Stop blocking yourself. Stop blocking. Step out of your own way. The Queen of Cups. Let's see what else. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. So making the decision. You have decision here as well. So it's like your your intuition is guiding you in, in, a, in a way. And you want to receive something. But you're still like going back and forth. Right? You're still trying to deal with the changes that are presenting themselves to you. Still trying to... You're still like... Eh. Or even just trying to make, trying to allow the energy to flow, right? So let's say it comes down to money and you're like taking one coin to get this paid and then, and then taking this coin to get this paid and, it, and everything's just flowing constantly, but you might be feeling as if you're juggling, but nothing is falling, right? So let it, like, let it flow. Because some of you, you're just going back and forth about a decision. And that's here. Mars in Gemini. Hmm. Okay, so your external influence, Pisces, the king of swords. <laughs> so I don't know. Are some of you dealing with an air sign? Could be a Libra, Aquarius, or... Uh, Lib Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Goodness gracious me. Could be an air sign as your external influence. Could be somebody who's a lot more logical and practical. You're going based on how you feel. It was 1331 when my eyes looked down for some reason. And this energy is a more logical energy. Maybe you're a lot more resourceful, patient even. Let's see what else comes up for external influence. Now, this, the, I don't even know. Another card popped out. Let's see what it is. You got the Eight of Swords here. This showed up for Ge Gemini's reading as well. The Eight of Swords. Let's see. And the High Priestess came out for Cancer. Um... External influences, the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the High Priestess. So are you connected to somebody who is very logical, but also very intuitive at the same time? Or maybe these are two different people, kind of like advising you in some way. It could be Cancer, Pisces energy as well with the High Priestess. Um... Or you're being asked to trust your intuition on a on an air sign. Maybe an air sign is saying to you, you know, Pisces, you really need to like, it's all good. Calm down. Calm down. It's all good. Trust your intuition. Calm down. Like put put your anxiety to rest. You know, don't let it trap you. Trap the anxiety. 
and put it to rest. Don't let it trap you. Let's see what's your potential obstacles or blockages. The high, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. And the Hierophant and the High Priestess are divine counterparts. So you might be feeling as if, again, a, a sense of authority is kind of cramping your style in some way. Maybe all a potential obstacle or blockage, the Hierophant could be marriage. Is anything part of the establishment, part of patriarchy, you know? So for some of you, maybe this is about divorce. For some of you, it's like you need to connect to your spiritual side. For some of you, there's still something to learn. There's still... So if you're thinking about a business or a project or there's still some learning. Maybe some of you still have to learn. Some of you still have to like hone your craft. This might be higher learning. For some of you, this might be spiritual learning. And why is it a potential obstacle or blockage? Because you want to be impulsive. Impulsiveness is here. But you're being asked to be patient and resourceful. Because there's still something, there's still grounding. There's still a solid foundation that needs to be built here. But you can, you perceive it as a blockage. But it's not. It's just building on a solid foundation. Not doing things willy-nilly and crazy, right? Let's see what's your final outcome. The tower. Pisces, some massive change is coming. Your phone, and it's, it's crazy I'm talking about foundations and that's exactly what the tower is. The tower happens because your foundations were not solid, stable or safe, right? Or secure. So everything comes crashing down to clear out that energy. Wash away what doesn't serve you. Massive change coming. Eclipse season, retrograde season. But it's necessary. Maybe this is all connected to the decision that you have to make. And they're saying, don't be impulsive. Be patient. Think it through. Take the necessary steps. Step after One step after the next. The Eight of Pentacles. And trust your alignment. <laughs> after the Tower is a magician. Take action. And also... Resourcefulness, this is a magician, is also about knowing your power. Because you are part of this. You called in this change. You called in this tower moment in some way. We can't have change unless there's change. And the change is here. But don't let it consume you, right? Don't let it block you. Step into your power. So the changes came with the chariot. And your mind was like, oh my God, okay. This is so much. I don't know. I don't know. You felt confused. But you got to call your powers back to you and direct that energy and channel that energy, Pisces. Wow, powerful reading. Powerful reading. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Don't get confused with all the different options. Get your mind right. There's something here that's real and all the rest is illusion. So slow it down and connect to self. Remember, the Wheel of Fortune is here at the bottom of the deck for you. So... Your pathways are open. Step out of your own way. Let's get a love card. Or three. And have a love card for Pisces. What's the love messages for Pisces spirit guides? Okay. My word. Y'all saw that, right? Okay. I love when I think about a card and they pop so at the same time. You have chemistry at the bottom of the deck. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And I would say flirtation, companionship, romance, <laughs> chemistry. Top of the deck is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, so four of cups, like heal that energy, heal so that you can gain you can allow this beautiful energy this generosity to come in this romance down the middle it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all wow okay let's see the card that went flying 
Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And the force that this card came flinging out. You got released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Pisces. Step out of your own way. Let go of the old energies. This four cups. So you can get the ace of cups to come flowing in for you. New love. Healing. Trust the alignment. Your third card is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. All right, let's get some moon cards out. And I cut the deck in half. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. You got romance here already. <laughs> these, these messages. These messages. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius shows up now. And it looks like a Cupid's arrow. Whew, child. Spirit guys, what's the message you want me to share with Pisces? Thank you so much. Can I have two more cards of Pisces, please? Oh, more cards of Pisces. So many. All right, we've got a whole bunch of cards coming out. So this chariot energy is very strong with y'all. There's a lot of very forceful energy surrounding y'all at the minute. You have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon at the bottom of the deck. Top of the deck is take time to breathe out, disseminating moon, right? Patience. Down the middle is luck is on your side. New moon is Sagittarius. I told you, Cupid's arrows. All right, so you have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Impulsiveness. And the chariot, you have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. All right. Do you have any Aquarius? And oh, the star. I was like, do you have any Aquarius cards? Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. And your final card, Pisces. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. So Pisces, those messages were amazing. Drop a comment and let me know if this resonates. Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling the vibe. Um, if you love what I am doing, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for your love and your support. I'm sending you all so much love. Until your next message, Pisces.